In this tutorial in Microsoft Access Database, I'd like to introduce you to the concepts behind a database and explain why they are so useful. There are some people today who see the power of a program like Microsoft Excel and wonder, why would I ever want to create or use a database when a spreadsheet can do so much? Let me show you a couple of the great advantages of putting information into a database. I'm going to click here on this form that I have in the database I created. It's called Voucher Applicants. Our church has a, the wonderful opportunity of helping people from time to time. And this is a way of tracking how we do that uh, so that we can help people wisely and often. So what we have here is a list of the applicants. Right now we have Santa Claus. He's an applicant. And if I click on the down arrow in the find, we have the Easter Bunny. Now, one thing you notice is if I go in on any of these boxes to try to edit them, I can't. They're frozen because I have to click on edit this recipient in order to change. So I'll click on that button. We'll change the zip code here. Maybe that should be a four. And then we'll click on the arrow to go to the next record. And we, the next one is blank. But when I'm in an, an existing record, this prevents me from overriding it, which is a nice feature of a database. We also have the op opportunity to find different records. We can add a new recipient simply by clicking on this button here. It creates a new blank record. Or we can create a voucher for any person we want. I'll click on Create Voucher. And here it has the ones we've done. We did one for Santa Claus back in 2011. If I click on Next Record, uh, we did one for Easter Bunny in 2017. I can click on Add Voucher to add another one to somebody else. Or I can edit the current voucher. Again, it gives me opportunity to move from one to the other. Basically, databases are tables that are hooked together. Let me close this one out and show you how, they're, how, how they look. Right now, my main table is a table with vouchers. But I also feed into that table another table of people who are authorized to sign off on the voucher, of vendors to whom the vouchers are written, and of recipients uh, to whom the vouchers are are given. And so we get the we have the opportunity in access to create multiple tables where you don't have to keep repeating the same information over and over. Once I have a vendor in here, all it does is look up the vendors and I never have to manually put the name in again. It's part of the garbage in garbage out. Now the screen you see is a main option screen. It lets me go to my voucher request table when I can do things with vouchers, as you just saw. Or it lets me go to my recipients table where I can change the recipients as well. Or it lets me print reports. On the screen you see an option when I print programs. Now one great advantage of Access Database is that you can take the same information and print it any number of different ways that you like. Let me show you an example. This is a, a report that would be the history ordered by the recipient. I'll click on that button and it will give me a report. And this is alphabetical last name, first name by the recipients. So the Easter Bunny comes before Santa Claus. Now I can do another report sorted by date. And here the date starts at 2017 and goes backwards to the earliest date. So it's from the most recent. I have another one. I can do one by staff. These are the people who have authorized vouchers. And we have one in here right now, but we have Pastor Fred. And I can close that. And then we, I can also enter a date range. We can put a start date in. I'll put 3114 and an end date 351, 
nine, and that will give me all the reports of vouchers that were issued within those dates. So there's lots of flexibility, and we could create an endless number of reports off the same data. We also have the option of controlling the people who have access to authorize the vouchers. And here I have a very sh small table that just contains the authorized individuals' names. We could put more information about them in here if we wanted to. But we have Pastor Fred, Pastor Harry, Sam Jones, and Jenny Smith. And so when I go into my voucher request table and I create a new one, let's say add one here, uh, let's say uh, Santa Claus gets another voucher and let's say the vendor is a gas station here. If I go authorized by, it will only give me the names in my authorization list. So Sam does that for me. I can put a note and other kinds of things. So it's really nice way to control the data you bring into your database. So only what you want goes in there. No misspellings, no changes, unless, of course, the initial information is wrong if I don't spell Santa Claus right. But once I have information in there, it's repeated over and over, and I don't have to retype it or rekey it or recheck it for clarity. Those are some of the reasons why databases are really good tools to use. And we'll show you in the upcoming lessons how to create something as simple as this in Microsoft Access. Music